Good morning, I'm Lauren Hayes for the Finance News Network. Stocks fell in a choppy session Wednesday as traders weighed the possibility of a recession and the likelihood of a longer than expected hiking cycle from the Federal Reserve. Next week, the central bank is widely expected to deliver a 50 basis point rate hike. While the move would mark a step down from the previous four rate hikes, concerns are swirling over whether the Fed can engineer a so-called soft landing. Investors await more economic data this week, with jobless claims data due out Thursday and November's producer price index and preliminary consumer sentiment data for December out on Friday. The S&P 500 declined 0.2%, with the Dow Jones Industrial Average unchanged, despite gains from 3M and Home Depot. The Nasdaq Composite shed half a percent. And China has issued a broad easing of pandemic restrictions. The moves include reducing the frequency of required COVID testing and allowing those with mild infections to isolate at home instead of at a hospital. Beijing's zero COVID policies led to widespread protests and weighed heavily on the Chinese economy. However, US-listed Chinese companies failed to rally on the news. On the EV front, Hyundai is the latest OEM to offer EV owners an entire home energy system, complete with solar panels and battery storage, following companies like Tesla and GM. Global EV sales are set to more than triple between 2021 and 2025, but the emissions footprint of an EV is highly dependent on the carbon intensity of the electricity used to charge it. And lithium prices are expected to pull back amid a slowdown in EV sales, primarily due to rising supplies and subsidy cuts by China for electric vehicles. Battery-grade lithium prices are trading near $85,000 a tonne, which is more than double the levels seen at the start of 2022 and four times the levels seen in September 2021. China is expected to remain by far the top single country for EV sales for many more years, but the pace of demand growth is slowing. That said, the producers are rushing to bring new projects online, considering lithium demand is expected to grow at an exponential pace over the long term, alongside accelerating demand for EVs. The price of oil fell to its lowest level this year on Wednesday, forfeiting all of the gains since Russia's invasion of Ukraine exacerbated the worst global energy supply crisis in decades. And Google has just released its top trending finance-related searches. Leading the list this year, how to buy bonds, what is a bear market, and why is gas so expensive? Across the sectors, healthcare and defensives were among the leaders. It was a mixed bunch overnight, though some of the recent rotational winners led again. Healthcare extended some recent rotational gains with upside across hospitals, managed care, pharma and medtech. And US banks are preparing for leaner times. Morgan Stanley yesterday laid off about 1,600 workers, or 2% of its staff. That followed cuts at Barclays, Citigroup and Goldman Sachs. Even those left behind are set to feel some pain. Bonuses are expected to be down by as much as 45%. Bank CEOs at Goldman Sachs' annual financial services conference this week are worried about the global economy as consumer spending dries up and there are warning signs of a slowdown in 2023. Wall Street thinks the economy will get worse. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.2% fall. I'm Lauren Hayes. Have a great day.